Okay, the next item that we're going to be looking at in the user form properties is going to be the scroll bars and you're going to really be working with multiple. You have the keep scroll bars visible and you have scroll bars, scroll bar height, left, top, and width. I'm just going to show you how you can use those scroll bars on your user form. And what I generally do is keep this value, keep scroll bars visible, always set to three. That is the default value. Besides, that will not activate unless you actually have a scroll bar in place. So like right now, even though I've expanded my, my user form, you'll see that I have controls here, but the moment I collapse it, no user, no scroll bars are visible. And that's because the scroll bars value is set to zero where you have scroll bars none, even though this item says um, three for sc form scroll bars both on keep scroll bars visible. Now if I was to change this property out to where it's horizontal, uh, we'll do vertical, you'll see that it's visible now. And if I was to change this to zero, you can see that what it does to my user form. It got rid of these scroll bars, even if I collapse it and we have more controls over here. So you always want to keep this at three. That's going to be my personal preference. Um, your, your needs may change for your application, but generally it's good to keep this at, at, a, at a three. That way the scroll bars are always visible, but they're visible when, when it's applicable. In this case, it's only applicable because we have the scroll bar set to a value S2. Now, once you play this though, you'll see that you're not able to scroll down, even though we have a control that's, that's lower in the user form. So what you're going to want to do is input some code into your user form. And I already have this set up, so I'm going to go to my user form. And the way I got to that is I just double clicked anywhere inside my user form where there is not a control. And, and it's not going to be in the left-hand box. Left-hand box, you're going to be under user form. But in the right, you're going to go down to initialize. And what you want to do is type in me, which is, represents the user form. Dot scroll bars is equal to, and we're just doing scroll bars both. And all we're modifying the property is this one right here, the three. You could change this to a one or a two depending on, on what, what you wanted or the actual name or a zero, but we, we want a scroll bar. So I could change this to vertical because right now in this example, I'm going to do a vertical bar. I'm just going to copy. It's not letting me copy it from here, but I can just either change this to a two or I can just type in the, the form and then me dot scroll height is equal to me dot inside height times two. We don't have to use the width because we're not going to be using the horizontal property. And we can just do F5. We should be able to scroll down now. And we're able to scroll down all the way down to the bottom of the user form. So just a quick example on how to use the scroll bars and how to actually set them up so that, they, that they're functional. If you wanted to do a horizontal scroll bar, then all you would do is just change this to horizontal or do, the, or do both. And then you would want to set this, the scrolled width to be me dot inside width times two. Otherwise, without setting up this property, you won't be able to scroll over to the left or the right.